My vision is uh, essentially a green living solar panel. You know, instead of this photovoltaic inorganic substance on your roof producing electricity, you've got a, a hollow chamber full of cyanobacteria that are bubbling off hydrogen gas in the sunlight and you'll be collecting that hydrogen. And, and it's somewhat complementary with electricity because you know, the electricity is only produced when the sun shines and you can't store it unless you have really expensive batteries. The hydrogen you can store in a tank easily and then either burn it in place of natural gas or use a fuel cell and convert it to electricity. And so it could provide more uh, backup and resilience in a green energy infrastructure. If you start with something like an energy crop like uh, corn ethanol or soybean biodiesel, and you look at the actual efficiency from sunlight to fuel, you'll find that about three to six units out of every 10,000 of sunlight received on that field actually end up in the fuel. And uh, so what we're doing is trying to go back to the very beginning of photosynthesis and see if we can capture the energy right from the light reactions of photosynthesis and uh, increase those efficiencies perhaps a hundredfold or more. So my specific project involves uh, genetic downregulation of some alternative energy flow pathways in the cell, trying to direct more of that energy toward hydrogen. And what I'm doing today is a fairly routine test of hydrogen production using this uh, interesting looking machine, which is a vacuum chamber and a mass spectrometer. And what's going on here is the cells are in this little chamber. And I put them in there in the dark and then track hydrogen production when I turn the light on. And also I'm tracking oxygen and CO2 and other dissolved gases. There's a gas permeable membrane at the bottom that uh, the gases go through this uh, tube through a bath of dry ice and ethanol which freezes out any water that gets through the membrane and also protects this machine in case the membrane breaks. Then once they're in this machine there's a filament that ionizes the gases and uh, accelerates them towards a detector and this thing is constantly tracking the concentrations of all of the common gases and this line right here is uh, hydrogen rising as the cells are slowly producing hydrogen having a very interdisciplinary department is useful, um, partly because it gives me options. You know, I'm more of a biologist than an engineer, and so I can take a large number of courses in molecular biology and genetics and still get some engineering background and sort of tailor it to, tailor my course load to what I need to understand this project and uh, my field.